Hello everybody, my name is Asia, your spiritual life coach, and today we're going to be talking about Dress Pearly Things, aka Hannah Pearl Davis. We're going to be discussing some spiritual things about her, how I feel, who is really controlling her in her like higher self, current self location in her mind. Okay, FYI, I have my iPad here, and I also have these new glasses, check them out, check them out, and they may change color because they're blue light. They're like the eye, I, I, I don't know, they're like these glasses. So they may change as I'm looking down at my iPad. So who is Pearl, aka, AKA Just Pearly Things? She is essentially, I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna say this, but people say it. They say that she is the female version of Andrew Tate, which I cannot justly say because even though she's essentially anti-self, anti-woman, I, I don't want to compare anyone to Andrew Tate. She talks about the manosphere. She doesn't believe in women voting. She doesn't, you know, agree with no-fault divorce or doesn't believe in divorces at all. Well, I'm watching this now, screaming at the screen. Oh, you know, and, and this is, so what about female politicians? We've had female prime ministers. Should oh, they God. be allowed to enter politics? Oh, God. I don't prefer women in politics. I, I don't prefer it. But... But, but, you know, if they're tax-paying citizens, fine. So fine. how can a female politician, we've had a few female prime ministers in I'm this not, country, yeah. but you're saying they shouldn't be allowed to vote? I, I'm sure not they the, got I'm skin not the, in the game. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of female politicians. I, I think generally we're too emotional. Yeah. Um, I think she also believes that once a woman turns 30, she's just, like, used, she's used up, yada, yada, yada. Like, very much young virgin have babies type of person it's not pushing women or her type of women forward it's just pu pushing women back because even conservative women are like honey i know back in the day i could not vote but i can vote now we're not taking that away N sit down like i i did candace owens say something about that you know she's not she's not in the same like demographic or whatever but it's just so counterintuitive. It's just mm. going on to like a little bit of a different subject. Me and my higher self, the current my current self and my higher self, we had a conversation the other day and we talked about how about 88 days before you were born, the higher self or like the soul is becomes connected with you, you know? And during that like time, that is when other life not other lives, but other past lives are able to come in. It's almost like the Day of the Dead where that veil is really thin. It's the same with us, you know, like those, it's not even like a full 88 days. It's like the 88th day of your birth. That is when your higher self got in, you know, with me, my higher self came from other life forms, beings or whatever. Your higher self could be, um... I don't know, some goddess, could be Athena, could be Hecate, I don't fucking know, Who, whoever your higher self is, or whatever. That's the time when they come in. But it also allows for other past lives to come in. And I believe our Pearl has two past lives that are, that are infiltrating her mind, okay? And I think there are two. There are two that are inside of her. And it's... It's giving me not fully 1950s and 40s because even women that lived during the 1940s and 50s wanted to do better, okay? Um, Mona Lisa Smile, they were going to college during that time. They, yes, most of them like went home and, you know, had their house, kitchen, stuff like that. But there were a good chunk of women that were like, I don't want to get married, I want to work. I want to make my own money. You know, so it's not really fully that 1940s and 50s, like, people, but it's. A, I feel like it's a little bit earlier, or this person is just so conservative, they're almost, like, not... They're not, like, from this... They're not from, like, a modern... How do I... How do I describe it? They're, like... It's not cult-like, but it's really, like, homeschooled, never venturing out in the city, Stepford Wives type of shit. You know? Um, almost like... Mormonism, where, like, they don't ever venture out of their compound. 
that's what it's giving me this but it but they also had like a little bit of privileges like they were able to watch tv but tv that they produced not nbc or abc you know that type of shit okay so the two people one is a woman and one is a man and the man is i feel like the man is fully in control of this but i know it's not just the man talking it's almost like a man is talking to the woman who is talking to current pearl for pearl to understand and listen he has to talk to the woman the woman talking to pearl and i know that i feel that they don't have any religious ties because pearl doesn't talk that much about religious ties there are some fem or some anti-feminist people talking points that have a biblical aspect to it but i have not heard pearl say anything like that i've never heard her come up and say proverbs 31 this says woman xyz -D -D -D. you know i she doesn't do that so neither one of these people are religious if it was just the man if it was just a man talking to the current pearl the current pearl would not have a problem with her youtube getting demonetized because i feel like most people and i i I don't swear this, but I feel in my spirit that she took a like master class on like YouTube and making money and digital marketing. She would have known that YouTube is just a pathway to money, not getting money itself. You know, YouTube is the free stuff. You give a little here, you give a little there, and then you tell them to purchase a course you tell them to join a membership you tell them to join patreon to get a little extra hear their shit you know what i mean so even if youtube gets demonetized it would not matter because the bulk of your money would be in those other places that's a real masculine thing to do that's why it's almost like a game of telephone where the woman the extra woman is telling pearl little bits and pieces but not coming directly from the man. So what should our pearly girl do, okay? I don't think her getting into birth charting and human design is the best for her right now. I think she really needs to understand and ask, what is her purpose? Like, what is her current self's purpose? And then what is the goal in her talking points? Like, really dig deep. Like, what is your goal in telling these women that they should not be able to vote? Who that gonna help? I don't know if that's going to help. Because it doesn't seem like any of this is helping her. Because I feel like what she really wants is to be with someone. But none of this is helping her be with someone. I think her brand of feminism or anti-feminism would work really well if she just had someone. Okay? If she had a partner. Because, listen, she would talk... Like, she's talking to the women, first off, that are not damaged goods. Like, they're virgins, they haven't been married, they want kids, yada, yada, yada. But she also needs to speak to the women who are like her. She's not a virgin. She's almost 30 and not married. I assume she's not dating. What she needs to do is show these women out here that, look, I'm not a virgin. I'm almost 30. I'm 29, 28. I think she might be 27. I don't know. I'm late 20s but I found me a provider I pro I found a man who likes and understands my ideals we match you can too when you buy my course if I can find a man this pearl can find a man with conservative values so can you little miss slut slut little miss only fans Little Miss, I've been with 75,000 men. If I can find one, you can too. Buy my course. A thousand dollars. If she did that, I bet you, I bet you she would, she would make money. She would not worry about YouTube. I want to say this too. She's not ugly. I hate how people like talk about her looks. She is not ugly, okay? She really just need a color analysis to get the correct shade for her skin and for her hair. That's it. She honestly, who does she look like? She looks like the wife of Vicky, this woman right here. She looks a little bit like her, but obviously one looks better than the other because I feel like one had, one exudes like happiness and confidence and the other does not. But she just needs a color analysis. And that's what she can say. She can say like, listen, ladies, you see my style? It was terrible. 
I went I went to a color analysis and men were just flocking to me. That's a video right there that'll probably get like a million two views. And a million two views, not with men, but with women. I also think that Pearl needs to get back into sports. I don't know whether she did basketball or volleyball, but I feel like those two things were really her current self exuding from her body, you know? Because I feel like doing those like activities and stuff, you're not really, you're not even your higher self. It's not your higher self and the souls that are inside, they're not really in control when you're in sports because you it's really much of like a body thing. It's almost like when you're driving and you've driven a couple miles and you're like, whoa, did I really drive a couple miles? Yeah, because it's your body. And your current self is more connected to your body than your higher self and then the past souls. So I think if she really gets back into sports, she she would be fine. I feel like she would be more connected to herself if she gets back into sports. As well as doing some daily journaling. You know, I love daily journaling. And then finding a girly thing to do every day. Because I feel like she's like doing a lot of masculine things. And I know you guys are like, well, sports is masculine. No, sports is a hobby. Sports is having fun. It's not my fault you guys gender the sports. It's not my fault that y'all put money on top of sports. Sports is a hobby. Sports is fun. But I feel like she needs to do a couple girly things, you know? Make a recipe from scratch, you know? Make brownies from scratch and not from a box. Do her nails. Do the color analysis, like I said. Play with fucking makeup. You know, do a lot of girly things so she can get connected more with her female past lives than the male past lives, you know? And she can also connect it to her because she's a girl. Like, do girly shit. Watch things that women are doing to get connected with women. Because the more that you connect with women, the more that you'll be connected with yourself and in a business aspect, you can connect more with women on your channel to get them to act more anti-feminist, more femininity, yada, yada, yada. And then you can move them into a femininity course to find men. How to find a high value man when you are not a fresh chicken. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, so those are my spiritual suggestions and my spiritual take on just pearly things. If you guys like that, or if you want me to talk about someone in the media that you want me to like talk about and, and say my own little spiritual opinion on, comment them down below. I would love that. And you know, follow my channel, do all that extra fun stuff. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys later.